Well, Kyle. What's up, buddy? What are you thinking? Well, I'm thinking there's blue that way. There's more gray. It's gonna rain regardless, no matter what, because I'm camping with you, so it has to be a rainy. <laughs> I've never been on a train before at all, have you? Negative. Not like a passenger train, no, not like this. Never been on a passenger train, so we're gonna take a train with our canoe into the middle of the wilderness. There's another group of guys that are going, but they're not getting off at the same spot we are. Um, we're gonna do six nights on a whitewater river, which both of us have not done either. We got a big old heavy boat, and uh, we're not planning on portaging too much. So we got a decent amount of gear. Very exciting. We're gonna, like I said, take the train in, and then we'll be picked up by a plane uh, seven days later. The Bell Alaskan. Joe, your wet meat's not too bad. It's not bad, eh? Mm -hmm. uh, Montreal smoked meat. Those those uh, Frenchies know what they're doing sometimes. <laughs> all right, so we just got dropped off. Train left us. We're all by ourselves. We're sitting next to the um, the train tracks. There's a little outpost camp here, but we're gonna hop on the river pretty soon and paddle. Who knows? It's already almost one. It's 12:37. So even if we only get 10 kilometers or so, we have a two class two rapid right off the hop. So we're gonna hop in the boat practice our, this is the first time either of us have been in a tandem boat in a while and we've never done a, a white water trip before. Yep. So it's a lot of firsts and this is a big heavy duty boat. So we got to get in and figure out our, our canoe strokes and everything first and then right down the rapid. <laughs> Nothing like jumping both feet in. It'll be good. 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 First time using a freaking barrel too on this trip. Yeah, that might end up being pretty nice. All right, you ready? Let's do it, bud. Here we go, bud. Send it. It's full send or no full send, that's what right? I heard. Here's the famous Allen Water Bridge right where we got dropped off. We're gonna go paddle underneath it and into the wind. <laughs> We're practicing our strokes a little bit, our paddle strokes a little bit here and uh, feel somewhat confident. Somewhat apprehensive. Yep. But we'll see how she goes. I feel fun right now. Well, nothing like starting a trip off on a super windy note. We're paddling a headwind here. Thinking uh, Kyle and I both had envisioned paddling a river or getting pushed downstream. You know, just kind of steering every now and then. But uh, yeah, we're having to work for it. So, yeah. never been here. We don't know what it's like. What's that? Yeah, give it to her. You're right. I'm feeling mildly apprehensive, yet very excited all at the same time. Yeah, I feel that, man. So we hear uh, the first set of rapids coming up right around the bend here. So we've got everything strapped in. We're going to switch out to our whitewater paddles and uh, give her a go. <laughs> the trees are moving up here. The trees are moving. We've uh, we've been practicing our, stro our draw strokes and our crossbow draws and it's pretty loud yeah they are getting pretty loud so oh cross your fingers for us folks oh she's 
she's a touch windy buys. Yeah, right? We're gonna go scout this one first. Just gorgeous. Oh yeah, that works great. <laughs> Why is it oh so... Oh, God. Why? I have another one. Nope, I don't like to be free. I want to use the Sawyer. Oh, he's yelling. He's yelling already. He's angrily. There's the rapids, but look at this. Score. Kyle's going to be very happy. He said he wanted to eat a bunch of wild blueberries up here, so... That's uh, a good score. Just right off the hop, our first little pullover. Kyle, I turned right. Mmm, lovely. Okay, this looks straightforward. We'll come in right down the tongue. Maybe try to get right of this a bit. All right, we came down to the end here just to scope it a little bit more. Looks pretty straightforward though. Yeah. And in between those rocks, see that rock at the end? Yeah. We're almost in front of it, we have to go right. We have to go right. Okay, okay. Yeah, you keep, keep me on, because I can't see now. Is there a rock right in front of us though? Oh, we're okay, just stay a little right. Should I go right? Stop. Good. Oh, this right. is. This is. Right. Oh, this is nothing, Kyle. Nothing. nothing. We should have gone over there. We should have, actually. Maybe we'll get braver right. as we go. Okay, if something changes on the way, just let me know. Uh, you didn't get the yeah, I got it. So we're going right down this tongue. Yeah, we're going to go right down this fork and kind of march that way. Stay about 10 feet to the left of that big rock. Are we going to be able to do that? I think so. I think we can actually start off. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. But what's next? No, that rock. There's shit next to that rock on the left, dude. See it? On the right, there's rope. No, no. Yeah, and see the left too, though. Look, look at everything. Look at Far River left instead. Everything looks fine. We ran a third rapid there, but it was pretty tame. We're, uh, we got the wind at our back now, and we're gonna decide to make camp early today. So I think in less than an hour, we'll be at camp. We have three more uh, rapids to run, or portage, regardless, uh, I would assume run. We're going to try not to portage anything we don't need to. That's the plan. But also still go home to our families. <laughs> progress down the river here. Making really good progress down the river. We've ran uh, three rapids at this point. No dunks, so we're good. Getting better at command. Left, right, off, all that kind of stuff. We've got three more easy, kind of quick rapids to go through, and then we're at a uh, decent sized lake with a nice little uh, rapid that pours into it and a campsite nearby. So camp spot tonight, set up a little early on the first day, and 
haven't even thrown our haven't even got our lines wet yet we've just been excited about paddling and really understanding the rapids and stuff so once we get to camp there's plenty of opportunity to fish we'll be near a set of a couple of sets of rapids and uh bruce has marked on the map that it's a good campsite so that's always nice Yeah, even right would have been fine. Get out. Yeah, yeah. We made it. We're here. We're at camp. I already got the gear explosions going on. Kyle's off to find the little boys' room, aka the ground. And I'm gonna get some water. I got a new little setup for this trip. Still using the beef free, but I found uh, one of these bags that fit the same um, threads and width as the uh, as the beef free so check it out it's two liters and I can use it like a gravity filter so if I just do one of those I could squeeze it as well speed it up but I have this and my other one so I'll have two I brought my tumbler this time. Daddy Soros, like a normal daddy, but more awesome, you know? So thanks kids for that. And we'll be doing tea in this, and I brought some uh, water additives and stuff. So, so, excuse me, this is all I'll be using instead of an algae on this trip. The beauty about this is I, if the ground was a little bit more level or if I put it in a better spot, I could just leave it and let it and come back for it but no big deal two liters in there my other one's only like a liter or half a liter and i can never fill it up so this will be a good camping water filter and kyle can use it too i'll let him there we go fresh ash water Mm. Got a lot of big trees here. Some are dead already. We'll have to be careful of where we put our shelters. I feel like camping on my hammock today. I have my hammock and my tent. My tent, so I'll hammock it up. Kyle's just making a spot for him to camp over there. Right here would be perfect. Have the door face the, t the ocean or the ocean? Yeah, the, yeah, ocean, the ocean over there. Yep. So it makes the uh, site much nicer. Yeah, it's like the flattest spot going now. Right? Right? Does it matter? Oh, you can take whatever one you want. I would take the paddling one. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I didn't realize we had this many paddles. We have four paddles. Two each. Oh, this is your white water, huh? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm just saying I would take the freaking light one there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Oh, okay. I'm a little slow, okay? I'm American. That's okay. Give me a break. I forgive you. I was looking for a plastic paddle. I thought your other one was... There you go. Oh, there's that big-ass dragonfly again. Right? That same one. <laughs> that one dragonfly here. In the there's only one in this entire park here. Well, if you couldn't guess, there's we're going to go on a little paddle and see if we can... Uh, Catch a couple fish, maybe have a fish for supper. I wouldn't be opposed to that. I would like that. Yeah. I would like that very much. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna get in the boat now. Okay. We got ourselves a decent sized pike for dinner. That was the first cast. Kyle and I had a double header on. Too quick to even grab the camera for me, but I think Kyle's got some footage of it. But um, yeah, man, just out for some more fishing. Keep this guy for dinner. If we catch a walleye or something, keep it too, but I don't think we need two big pike like this. Oh, it's a massive one. No, I can't tell. Well, it's a good freaking tip bend there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I see him. What do you oh, do? oh. Walleye. Yeah. Nice walleye, dude. Very nice walleye. Wow. Been for like 35 feet. Yeah, if that cow's hooked into an icing. What do you think it is? I don't know. The walleye fought more than the pike last time, for sure. He's putting up a good fight. Here he comes. It's a walleye. Nice, man. 
I'll wear them out. Yeah. What? Is it, is it a walleye? Yeah, 100%. It's a big one. Oh, dude, that's even bigger than your last one. Get that in the boat, man. Holy crap. Yeah, that's a good, ooh, shit, that's a good size one. All right, you want to test out the glove now? Oh, yeah, that's exactly what I want to do. Lips the walleye. Can you keep this guy? I think so. Keep him in the pike and we'll have a nice big fat fish meal. Okay. Cool. Thanks, man. Instead of paddling down to the falls or the rapids, we just decided to come back. It's 5.20. We're right in front of camp anyway, so we're going to make a fire, get a big bunch of wood, make a fire, clean these up. By the time we eat, it's going to be 6 or 6.30. We can always go down after supper if we feel like it. It's going to be light to like 11 almost. So uh, that's the plan. Firewood duty. And it feels like it's gonna rain now. Weather's been all over the map today. What? What'd you say? Oh, I was talking to camera, bye. I can relay these things over. Relay? Yeah, I'm gonna get to my tent over by your hand, okay? Okay. What are you doing here, Joe? I'm just gonna light fire up, you know. Maybe yeah. we can cook our fishies we caught and then have supper before yeah. the rain. How are you gonna light it? Just with a lighter, you know, with the twigs. It's so dry here. It's my favorite thing to do. Yeah. Why are you not using a fire steel? Well, because it doesn't, it's not important to use one. You have a lighter, it's uh, that's not quite a bit easier. Yeah, it's not fishcraft. No, it's certainly not. I didn't know if, if you know, but like, I took the bushcraft part off my name on my for like, maybe like 15 years ago. 15 is Yeah, it's 15, it's just Joe Robinette. You can do whatever you want. You could go outside, you could play a video game, you could... Fire starter. Fire starter. Should've brought a fire starter. All right, that's the pike and the walleye cut up. You can tell the color difference there. The pike is more yellowy. <laughs> just a little bit of dirt. Debris. Just, just the old rinsey poo, you know? And the old Alaskan. Yeah, that's a... Getting us here. What do you think? That's a healthy portion of food. It's good for us. Pretty Pretty much bad. I'm excited. I got a new pan for this trip. A little bit bigger. It's shallower, but it doesn't really matter. Like, you don't need it to be super deep anyway. So, try it out. Be able to probably fit all that on there. All right, bud. Yeah. Yeah, I got lots of seasonings if you need more salt and pepper or anything. Yes, bring some salt, please. Can I have some salt? Okay. Yeah. Give me 10 seconds. Okay. Looking good, looking good. Cooked up. Try a bait. Bait. Try a bait. Yeah. Good. Is it? Yep. I like it when it's a little black and crunchy. So do I. It needs a little bit more salt, but it's good. Oh, well, there we didn't put any salt on it yet, so oh. that would be why. I'd be white in the salt. Yeah. Some salt in this? Yeah, oh yeah. That's what it's called. Outdoor flavors. Hey, cheers, mate. 
Cheers, mate. Good stuff. Perfect. I love that. Perfect. Oh, yeah. I love it. We're going to get down. The crunchy bits are good. Mm -hmm. The salt is what is needed to mm -hmm. make it extra good. I agree. The lemon is good, too. The Bicardi lemon. Lemon. Well, what a great day today. Have a fun day? Very fun day. Yeah. We only paddled for two hours. Yep. Got some good distance. We scoped out a couple rapids. We ran three without, I think. Yep. Maybe two. Um, got our legs under us a bit. So I'm feeling pretty confident about tomorrow. It's uh, lots more rapids tomorrow. Pretty quick. We'll have to look at the map and see. What we, gotta do, we gotta do some research tonight. Yeah, right? let's do that. Cool, but great day. Perfect. Catch more wildlife. Yeah. Yeah, I don't need to eat any more pike. I don't need to clean any more pike. Walleye is good. Yep. Yeah. Oh. oh, supper was super good. We're going to uh, paddle down to the rapids. See if we can't pull up a couple fishies. I'm a nice little nighttime paddle. It's uh, it's after seven, quarter after seven. The wind has completely died down. And we are both very content, both very happy with the way, excuse me, the way that the day went. Good times. It's been like a year since we've seen each other too, so it's due. It is just gorgeous out right now. Perfect weather, no bugs, no wind. No fish though too. Not yet. I'm sure we'll slam them at the at the rapids. Rapid. Yeah, I took a cast here and got a chunker. I don't know what it is yet, but Oh, just lost it. Cool. Really? Yeah. <laughs> that quick, huh? Wah, wah. All right. Hooked into one. Oh, it's a decent walleye. Nice. You're going on, Joe. I got a my first walleye of the trip. Nice, dude. Yeah. Right through the top lip. Pretty, uh... Pretty fishy? I was going to say, pretty small compared to my walleye. Oh, of course. I'm happy with that. Yeah, that's not bad. <laughs> Eater. It'll do. It'll do. It'll do. Let me zoom in a little bit. One sec. Good. I like it. I like it spin up like that. Yeah, it looks sweet. Good job. Nice. First walleye. A little fish on for a Kaiula. Yeah, uh, maybe. You let go? I don't know. More than... Guys, are very small fish. What am I dragging? Am I dragging them out of the water? You are. <laughs> this is not fish. This is fish. Little baby. Like a little tiny one. Oh, it's not even. It's a decent size, dude. Yeah, that's not bad. There's nothing wrong with that. No, that's a normal well, walleye. I mean, I'm, I'm basically a monster hunter at this point. All right. No, that's a good walleye, man. It's not a bad size. Dude, they love that red devil. Look at his mouth. Yeah. Wow. What? Walleye freaking Kyle over here. She's doing pretty good with the walleye this trip. All right? Yeah, don't pull a Joe. Don't pull it, Joe. Don't <laughs> pull it, Joe. I have not, I have not yet to pull Joe. Yeah. Might before this trip is in. Yeah, man. It's not bad. Nice. Well, just hooked into another walleye. Dude. <laughs> Looking pretty good. It's yeah, a nice man. fish, dude. It is. This is the biggest gull I have ever seen in my life. Like he would take out an eagle. <laughs> Seagull versus eagle. Yeah, right? Well, you don't have to leave, bro. Come eat the fish morsels. Come back, bro. Gum boy. Big boy, not gum boy. Gum boy. Sticky big boy.
There we go. Diggy. Finally. The flameage. Oh, I said there's some flameage around here. Mm -hmm. How you uh, how you like our fishing expedition? A plus so far. Absolutely A plus. <laughs> the boys are back in town. There's Kyle for you. Just getting nicer as it goes. Purples, blues. Look at this. Complete mirror reflection. This is so awesome. This is such a good day. Such a good start to the trip. If every day is like this, man. This is going to be a hard trip to beat. I'll uh, unstick it for you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> big boy! Yeah. Big boy! Big bye. Get there, Joe. Oh, it's just Mr. Pike. He's fine. He's okay. Spike. The Spike, you know? Yeah, a little, little pike there. Yeah, it's just a little guy. This is uh, I'm, a pike, pike trip for Joe, I think. Yeah, you're really nailing the pike. Yeah, not really uh, on purpose, but uh, it's happening. Yeah, he's Pike. All right, I'm under my tarp now. Just getting ready for bed. The rain came in a bit, and we left the fire to go to bed. So, 10.30, we'll see you guys in the morning. Kyle's getting situated. Kyle! I'm almost situated. <laughs> this is the fourth one then? Yeah. This isn't the one we got to scout? No. <laughs> hmm. All right. This looks uh pretty. Where are we going? Tell me. We're gonna go left to this big rock right. At the end. The left. Yeah. The, okay. Right yep. 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 Are you sure? Yeah. Well, help me go left then. Help me go left then. We're taking on some water on that one. Keep paddling, keep paddling, keep paddling, keep paddling. Keep paddling. Keep paddling. Keep paddling. 